Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, I just got off the phone with a friend of mine who uh, called me from San Francisco. He's, he's over there visiting at the moment and he was telling me, you know, all the places that he's been to. He's been to Pier 39 and he's doing the cable cars today. Um, also, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. He just says it's the most amazing city to visit and um, it's somewhere that I've always wanted to go. Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity yet to uh, visit San Francisco. Um, but it's weird, you know, whenever I hear San Francisco or people talking about the place, I just automatically in my head just start playing. I left my heart in San Francisco. And it just goes to show that, you know, songs, lyrics, music, they can be so powerful to, you know, make you feel a certain way about a certain place um, when you live thousands of miles away and have never been, you know? So um, I think it's a, it's, it's a great song. Uh, it's certainly a magic song to be able to make you feel like that and of course it's sung by uh, one of my favorite artists uh, in the world Mr. Tony Bennett um, who's a hero of mine not just because of his wonderful voice and his talent but you know he's one of the last living legends uh, in the genre of music you know he's in his 90s now and uh, there's no other reason that Tony is doing this than the fact that he just loves what he does and um, you know he's managed by his son which I think helps a great deal because obviously it's very important uh, to have your family around you and to have that bond um, so yeah uh, the, the thing about Tony that I love most is that Tony's not afraid to do things, you know, he'll do uh, a section of a song which it will be almost like a refrain, so he'll slow everything right down and he'll take control of the song and uh, he'll do a, like a, a colle voce section which basically means that the musicians will follow the artist for timing, so for example the start of San Francisco. The loveliness of Paris seems somehow sadly gay. The glory that was wrong is of another day. I've been terribly long. You know, he can really uh, unstructure it and just be completely free with that song and the band will follow him. Um, and another thing that Tony's brilliant at, and uh, I've always admired him for this, I've always been slightly jealous, he always goes for the top notes, um, you know, A's and B's and, and, you know, really holds the notes. Uh, for a long time and that's that's pretty unusual for um, a crooner to, to, to go for that kind of style and that's what makes Tony so great you know that he's just not afraid to belt a note um, so yeah I, I've got a lot of respect for Tony um, the other thing lastly that I think is very important is that Tony even though he's, he's in his 90s he's still reinventing himself all the time um, you know he's doing duets with people like um, Amy Winehouse um, Michael Bublé, Lady Gaga, you know, so he's really trying to take what he's, you know, created and mix it with a modern style as well, you know, so he's, he's a great guy, please go and check him out on YouTube. Another song that if you want to win some, lads, if you want to win some points with the ladies, um, go and get a bottle of wine and put on The Way You Look Tonight by Tony Bennett, I promise you, it's one of the most beautiful versions, super romantic and uh, it'll all be good. Anyway guys, I'm Mark Kingswood. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these music life marks and I'll see you soon.